Hi everyone, my name is Mike Mello and welcome to the Luxury Home Channel here on YouTube. Today we're in Palm Beach Gardens, which is on the east coast of Florida. We're gonna show you this beautiful home by Tolboro is behind me. It's a Jennings Coastal model. It is between four to six bedrooms, depending on how you design the interior of the home, and three to four bathrooms. It's 3,758 square feet is where it starts and it goes up from there. Now the base price at time of filming, which is July of 2022, is gonna be $1,071,995. Now that is the base price, it does not include lot premiums, it does not include upgrades, and this home has a ton of upgrades, including a really nice outdoor living area, which would all be completely upgradable if you actually buy a house like this. So that would actually have to add to the price. So let's go ahead and go in and show you all the really nice tropical landscaping that we have all the way through. And you may go, hey, how do we get into the two car garage over there? Because we have that beautiful tropical landscaping right in front of it. Don't worry, this is a model home. When they actually finish it up, they will remove that and put it in the driveway. And they'll also put doors in on the house because when we walk through, you'll notice that there's missing a whole bunch of doors. So let's go ahead and come through and talk about the front. Now that coastal design you'll see is including with the blinds that you see on the windows, also the nice paneling that you have in the stucco. And of course these blinds going across the front of the house all adds to that coastal feel as we come into the house and the front patio. So the front patio is here, it is covered. Very, very tall ceilings here as well. And of course we have the door and a light fixture over here on the left where you can actually sit out and enjoy the Florida weather and wave to your neighbors. So let's go ahead and go inside and check out this home. All right, so welcome into this Toll Brothers home. Let me go ahead and close the door behind me. Of course, the first thing I notice when I walk in are gonna be the floors. Really nice, beautiful wood solid floors going through the whole first floor. And then when I look up, I see these really grand chandeliers. There's three of them coming down from the ceilings. They're very, very tall ceilings. Has a tray ceiling up there with some nice brown wood beams going across one way and of course white wood beams going the other way. Now behind the camera, and Haley is on camera again today, is gonna to be the nice family room and also sliding glass door going out to the outdoor living. We'll show you that in a little bit. And of course we have this beautiful staircase that we'll show you as we walk through the house. So let's go ahead and start over here to the right, which would be bedroom number two. So follow me in this direction. And you'll notice that the doors are missing, but they will replace those doors when they do sell the model. So as we come in here, this is a nice little bedroom in the front of the house. We have a nice accent wall there to the end. Of course, a chandelier above us. And then we do have a walk-in closet, which is a very good size walk-in closet. So let me actually go in here so you can see. Extremely nice size walk-in closet for a spare bedroom. And this one has its own bathroom as well, right through here. So it is an ensuite with its own bathrooms coming in with some nice ceramic tile floors, nice white cabinets, and of course, solid surface countertops, mirror that's framed, light fixture. And of course, we have the shower behind us. Shower has some nice hexagon tiles on the floor. And then of course, we have the gloss tile going all the way up to the ceiling as well. So that's really cool. So as we come this direction, we're gonna go ahead and go right. And now you'll see something that's one of Haley's favorite features of this home, which are the bookshelves. And there's quite a few of these in this house. So this one's nice, goes all the way up to the ceiling with some recessed lights in it, nice little built-in. Of course, all these things would be extra upgrades to that base price we talked about at the beginning. So let's go ahead and go across to this section and we'll see our half bath. So they have a little half bath here. As we come into this half bath, what really, what I really like about this, you have your pedestal sink and of course your toilet, but this backsplash going all the way up to the ceiling, absolutely beautiful. I even like the mirror, how it's sort of like hanging, looks like you're on some sort of ship with a rope around it, with the mirror in the middle. Awesome, I like that design. So let's come this direction, and this will go to the two car garage, give you a little peek of the two car garage, normal two car garage. And then behind these doors is gonna be the air handlers. There's a couple air handlers. And there's a little space there too if you needed to use some space for storage. And then we come into the laundry room. So nice size laundry room, of course. We have a lot of built-ins. All the built-ins will be upgrades as well. So we have the cabinets down here all in white, nice solid surface countertops. And of course, we have the cabinets, even with some glass fronts. So you can really display your really fine towels up there on your laundry room. So see that in the kitchen often for your fine china, but this is one of the first times I've seen it in the laundry room. But we have the washer and a dryer, and of course we have this really cool um, siding that goes all the way around in that white wood paneling. I think that looks really good too, and it contrasts really nice with that black ceramic floor that we're standing on. So let's go ahead and go back. We do have a linen closet here as well. And then as we go around this corner, this door is gonna be the Harry Potter door where we have some under the stairs storage. But then we come through, you'll get the view of what was behind Haley a little bit earlier with the family room. But then we'll come over into our, sort of like our little study area, hangout room, however you wanna make it, um, where you have all this really nice space here. And what really stands out on this room, of course, is gonna be the built-in shelves over to my uh, right. 
So we have the built-in cabinets here, nice countertops and of course shelves for more books. And we have these built-in lights going across. And then of course above us is a tray ceiling with crown molding and of course that same white wood going right across. We even have built-in speakers in this room. And of course we have the French doors going into the room as well. So as we come over here, the thing that stands out as I come out of that room, it's gonna be the stairs. Really nice light color wood going all the way up. And of course, if you look, we have that same wood paneling going all the way up to the ceiling, which matches really well with the staircase and how the staircase is done all the way through. So let's go ahead and go into the family room. Very, very spacious family room. And the thing that really pops as soon as you walk in here, there's a couple things that pop. Uh, first thing is gonna be the ceiling with a tray ceiling. And of course the design with that light brown wood beam going across one way. And then of course the white wood beams going across the other direction as well and how they have it sort of asymmetric the way they designed that. And then of course the built-in shelves over on the far end there with the cabinets on the bottom and of course all the recessed lightings to put all your sort of decor or books. If you're Haley, it would be books on that particular shelf. So, and then let's talk about the kitchen. It's an absolutely beautiful kitchen. So as we come into the kitchen, the first thing we see is a Gen Air refrigerator, really high-end refrigerator. And then of course we have our oven microwave combo. It's all set up, all digital, so all state of the art. And then to my right is gonna be the pantry. The pantry, they actually have a window into it. So you probably want that as a solid uh, door when you come in. But if you come at this workshop, you can see really nice built-in shelves going all the way to the back. So you have plenty of storage here for all your dry goods. You can probably put a couple extra shelves on there as well if you needed to. So as we come over this direction, we'll talk a little bit about the cabinets. We have that nice white cabinet with the black hardware, and of course the black solid surface counter, and then the backsplash, which is in gray, absolutely beautiful going all the way along all the way over to this gas uh, stove, which is a six burner top. And then of course the tile going all the way up to the uh, air vent, which is built in with this nice custom cabinet. Now on the other side, what you'll notice is that we have a different color cabinet, nice light gray cabinet compared to the white that we see on the other side with the dishwasher. Another thing is the solid surface countertop is a lot thicker on this side than the other side. So they have a very thick countertop on this. Goes into a nice uh, farmhouse sink, which is below the actual counter. Nice big area with this beautiful uh, faucet here. And of course we have the three lights coming down, the pendant lights coming down over the eating area, which is now set up for four people. Now, as I continue, we have a lot more storage space. And of course we have all the drawers and everything you might need, all soft clothes, nice little area here for your fine china. And then we even have a beverage refrigerator for all your wine and any other drinks you might wanna keep nice and convenient there. Then we come into our dining room. So it's currently set up for six people to sit around, nice little chandelier above us. And of course you have the tray ceilings with the crown molding and it's that same uh, white wood paneling going across there as well that we've seen throughout this whole home. So let's go ahead and go over towards the primary bedroom suite. But as we go through, we're gonna pass this sliding glass door and the sliding glass door goes out to the outdoor living area. Now the outdoor living area is really nice in this home. It's currently set up for actually 10 people to dine out here in the covered area. And of course the covered area has those wood beams that go across as well. The flooring in this area is really beautiful as well. And it goes all the way through the pool area. And then we have our summer kitchen. The summer kitchen is set up for entertaining. Uh, we have our barbecue with the air vent to vent all those smells out. And then we actually have two little fridges out here as well and a sink on the solid surface countertop. Now the pool itself has two tanning areas, one where you can enter the pool and then the other one on the uh, deep end, jacuzzi right in the middle and the landscape all around the pool is absolutely beautiful. I love the way that they have little steps where you can walk through it. And of course the palm trees and the little gardens in between the jacuzzi and the pool. And we even have an elevated shelf for some lounging for all those that want to enjoy the beautiful Florida weather. But let's go ahead and go into the primary bedroom suite as we come through here. Another one of Haley's favorite, which is that built-in bookshelf. This one's even wider. This one may be big enough for your book collection. So it has the recessed lights, everything you might need an extra shelf or two there, but this would actually fit what you have. So that's really nice coming into the bedroom. Of course, no doors, but we have a door here when we actually move into the house. So as we come through here, nice size, king size bed, big end table on either side. And of course we have this beautiful accent wall. And what I like about this is that they have the dark wood working around the windows. And of course the crown molding going around the room, but then in the center of the room, we have that tray ceiling with the lighter color beams. And of course the white uh, wood beams going across the other way. And of course this beautiful chandelier above us. So let's go ahead and go into the bathroom. So as we come in here, first thing I notice, of course, are these tiles. They're very unique tiles going throughout the whole bathroom. And then we do have our counter gain in that same white color with the black handles. And of course, a black countertop 
huge mirror here that's framed in white and a couple light fixtures, including a chandelier above me with those little Edison bulbs. That's really neat. And then of course we come to our shower, which is huge. Absolutely huge shower. You have the controls right here where you can control all your, these two shower heads. And then it steps down into here. You have a little sitting area. You would have another little control over here for the other shower head, the little remote one, the portable one that you can have. So you have everything you need. And of course, it's all behind this frameless glass. Now over to my right, it's gonna be the closet. So we come into the closet and the closet is really nice. This is a very good custom closet that you typically find in those luxury homes like this one. And you have plenty of space to put. They have lots of robes here. So the people here that live here like robes and ties. And then of course on the other side, we do have a hat and a few other little knickknacks here that they put the interior designers put in. So that's pretty neat. So as we come through the other side, now this is where there's gonna be this huge tub. This is absolutely one of the bigger tubs I think I've seen. Um, so you have the garden tubs sitting right here, picture window right there. Of course, you probably want that sort of tinted or something on there for privacy because it is right there to your next door neighbors. I'm sure you don't want to wave to your next door neighbors as you're getting a, uh, getting in around the tub, but that'd be easily uh, resolved. And then of course, we come over this direction here and to our left is gonna be the water closet. So that is the first floor. Let's go ahead over towards the second floor. Now, if you haven't done already, make sure you like the video. Also subscribe to our channel if you like looking at luxury homes throughout the nation. And if you're a listing agent with luxury listing anywhere in the US or pretty much anywhere in the world and would like us to actually come and film your home, make sure you give us a call. We'll definitely be interested in talking to you about coming out and filming as well. So let's go ahead and go upstairs and check out what we have up there. All right, so here we are on the second floor. Of course, as we come up here, we see that beautiful hardwood floor finish and going throughout this second floor as well. And then we come to this area, which is one of Haley's favorite areas as well, because what, it has bookshelves. It has a bookshelf on either side and this really nice sitting area in the middle where you can sit down, pull a book out, read a nice book, nice little custom built-ins that we have here. And then as we come over, we get into the loft, which is a nice size loft. So this is a nice area. You could probably put a pool table here if you wanted a pool table, or you can make this into an extra bedroom if you wanted to. Of course, plenty of space. We have this beautiful wallpaper behind me. And of course we do have crown molding all the way around, built-in speakers as well. And then of course we do have a closet. So you do have a closet here. If you want to make this into a bedroom, you have that. This is just where an air handler is. So that is not a usable space. So as we come back over this Direction. We'll go over and show you a couple of the other bedrooms. We go past a Vespa, it looks like a Vespa. Yeah, a Vespa scooter, that's cool. Had a lot of those in Bermuda. Uh, and then we come into bedroom number three. So this is bedroom number three, it's gonna be on the front of the house. Of course, we have this beautiful light fixture in front of me that looks like a bunch of ropes put together in a pretty neat knot fashion. And of course, the actual accent wall in the back, which I think is really cool, has a, like a built-in shelf going across, all in gray. And of course, gray uh, paneling going uh, up and down on the actual uh, wall as well. And then of course, we have the crown molding. Now over here is another walk-in closet. So it's come through here, you do have plenty of space. That's one thing, all the bedrooms in here seem to have pretty good closets, especially that one downstairs. It was a lot bigger than I thought for a secondary bedroom. So as we come through here, we'll go over to the other side. This will be bedroom number four. So this one's all about uh, basketball. We have a basketball hoop over the bed. And of course, cool little wood painting going up as well. And then this uh, wallpaper on this side, that I think looks really cool. A couple windows here looking out on the actual pond in the backyard. And then we do also have a walk-in closet. Uh, the walk-in closet even has pictures of basketballs and, and baseballs and even has a little football up there as well. So let's go ahead and check out the full bathroom, which is right over here. So this would be the bathroom that these two bedrooms share. So coming into it, we have really nice uh, ceramic tile floor. And of course we do have that dark brown cabinet, solid surface countertop, mirror that's framed with that same dark brown color, a couple really cool light fixtures. And then we come into a separate area. This will be an actual door right here, which goes into where your toilet and tub is with a subway tile going all the way up to the ceiling. So you'd have that privacy if you're there. Plus you have the dual sinks as well. So for the two bedrooms. Now, as I come over here, if you haven't done already, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel if you like luxury homes. And that is the end of this video. I wanna thank you all for watching all the way to the end. And until next time, I'll see you then. Take care.